In any healthy relationship, mutual respect, understanding, and open communication are crucial elements that foster trust and emotional intimacy. However, there are certain things you should never beg a woman for in any relationship. Begging can undermine your self-respect and the foundation of a healthy partnership. Instead of fostering open dialogue and respecting each other's boundaries, it's essential for maintaining a strong and fulfilling relationship. Welcome to Naked Douglas. Here we focus on helping you cultivate healthy relationships and unlock your full potential. Whether you are navigating romantic connections, friendships, or family dynamics, our advice and practical tips are designed to guide you every step of the way. We also dive into self-development strategies, offering insights to boost your confidence, improve communication, and foster personal growth. Join our supportive community for inspiring stories, actionable advice, and transformative insight. So my lovely people, subscribe now and start your journey towards stronger relationship and a better you. Let's grow together one step at a time. So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, you know, all those good stuff. So in today's video, we are discussing 12 things you as a man should never beg a woman for in a relationship. If you want to be the head of the woman and still have and earn your respect from that woman, have this key aspect to consider. Consider this aspect we are going to be listing in this video. And number one, affection and attention. Affection and attention should flow naturally between partners in any, in any relationship. Why is normal to desire affectionate gestures and quality time together? Begging for constant attention or displays of affection can create feelings of suffocation and pressure. It's important to communicate your needs openly and also respect her space and emotional boundaries. While you are seeking for that affection and attention, please never put it as you are begging the woman. Never do it in a way that she will not use it against you and hold you on it. Because we women, when we want something from a man, we, we know what the man always cry for, crave for all the time. We use it as an excuse to withhold the man, to hold the man at ransom until that man we do what we want the, the man to do. So don't beg for affection or attention. It comes freely. If you're begging for attention and the affection, it's something that she also wants from you. So why would you beg for her to give it to you? So the fact that you need it, she needs it. So don't beg for a woman for affection or attention. It comes free. If she doesn't want to give it to you, she will need it when she wants it from you. You will also do the same. She also needs it. So don't beg for a woman for affection or attention. It's supposed to come naturally. And number two, commitment. Commitment is a fundamental aspect of any serious, I said serious relationship, but it should never be begged for. You don't have to beg for commitment. If your partner is hesitant about commitment, it's important to have an honest conversation about your expectations and where the relationship is heading. Pressuring someone into commitment rarely leads to a healthy and lasting partnership. If you beg for a commitment, like for example, some men will say, okay, give me an evidence that you're going to wait for me till when, when I'm going to marry you. They want commitment. We also women, we also beg for such commitment too. But what I am telling you today as a man is to never beg for a commitment. If you are out for the woman, go for it. If you're not ready, then tell the woman you're not ready. If she can wait, she has to wait. You don't have to beg for a woman to make a commitment in a relationship to show you that maybe she loves you or she can wait for you when you will marry her or even when you are married you want a commitment assurance telling you know trying to commit yourself that yes you are there for me you can do that as a as a married people but if you are not married don't beg for any kind of commitment if you beg a woman for a commitment, the woman is definitely is going to, not even all women want to be committed, 
especially when you are not ready to settle down with them. Why will you want the woman to show you an assurance that she is yours or she is going to wait for you? Don't beg for any commitment. Some women don't even want it. And for you to even beg, you're, belitt you're belittling yourself. When you're ready for her, go for her. Don't beg for any commitment. And number three, trust. Trust is the cornerstone of a strong relationship. Begging for trust can indicate underlying issues, such as insecurity or lack of communication. Trust must be earned over time through consistent actions and honesty. If trust issues arise, it is essential, of course, to address them openly and work together to build rather than begging for it. You have to build your trust. You don't have to always beg a woman. You have to trust me. Trust me, I can do this. Trust me, I am not this kind of person. Trust me, I am going to do this. Trust me, give me some time. You have to earn it. You have to build it. Build that trust. You don't have to beg. Don't beg for trust. Because when you always beg for a woman to trust you and do that, the woman might be seeing you as somebody that you are not actually proving who you are. You are trying, you're just saying it. Trust is, if you build trust and you earn it, somebody has to trust you because they have seen some incidents that made them to trust you. Not because you just said it, trust me. Nobody trusts you with just saying it. You have to build it, you have to show it in action, and you shall never beg for it. Don't beg for anyone. Don't beg to, that any woman should trust you. Because they don't. They will not, even if you beg from that, they don't trust you. But you have to build it. When you build it and they see it by themselves, they have to trust you. You don't have to beg for it. And number four, respect. Respect is non-negotiable in any relationship. Begging for respect can indicate a lack of boundaries and mutual understanding. Both partners should feel valued and respect for who they are. If respect is lacking in the relationship, it's crucial to address the underlying issues and communicate openly about expectations and boundaries. Like you men always, you want respect and that is how it's supposed to be. A woman should give you respect. You don't beg for the woman to respect you. Like I said about the trust, you earn it. You have to work towards building up yourself, doing the things that you're supposed to do for the woman to always fall in love, continue to fall in love and always think about you. And when that happens, you see that respect coming in. You don't ask a woman to just, you have to respect me. If the woman sees how you do your things, how you build yourself up, the thing, the kind of life you're living, that, that woman has no other option than to respect you. That respect comes naturally. It comes with things happening around you. Men, don't beg for respect. It's something that you earn, especially if you're in marriage. Being the head of the family, you earn that respect from people under you, from your wives, from your children, from everybody that are, that are under you. Everyone that is under you, you deserve that respect from the person. You don't have to beg it. And if you continue to beg it, that means you are not even on that position to earn it. So earn your respect and don't beg for it. And number five, intimacy. This is very important in every relationship. Intimacy, both physical and emotional, shall be a natural expression of closeness and connection between partners. Begging for intimacy can create feelings of pressure and resentment. It's important to create a safe and comfortable environment where both partners feel emotionally and physically secure. Communication about desires and boundaries is essential to fostering a fulfilling, intimate relationship. You have to know what you actually want in a relationship. And please, men, don't beg for sex. Don't beg for that intimacy because it's something that comes naturally. For a woman's side, a woman also craves for it. So why will you always be the one to beg for it? And if a woman knows that you that is your weak point, if she denies you of that, is your your sort of your life is finished. That is where you base your, your your relationship. I'm not saying that to ask for it is different, but begging for it is not good. You don't have to beg for it. 
you don't have to beg for it you can ask for it but not begging and don't use begging to express your feelings towards your partner because it shows the partner that if i don't do this something is going to happen to you and if you continue to beg and beg and beg that that woman will use it as your weak point and use it to hold you whenever she wants something she will always deny you of that or whenever she she she's asking for something and you have been denying it she will also deny you for that and that is where she's holding you because you always beg but when you are in a, a man that you know that is your right to have you don't have to beg but what you have to do is to do the right thing that you're supposed to do so that you have access to that thing you're asking of you don't have to beg for sex the woman also needs you so whenever the woman also needs you does she beg she doesn't beg she will ask or she will even do one or two things definitely you will fall she will do in a way to seduce you you will just fall so why are you on your own side you are always begging don't beg don't beg express your feelings and let the woman understand what you want but never put it in a way of begging and number six validation seeking validation from a partner is common but begging for validation can undermine your self-esteem and emotional well-being it's important to cultivate self-confidence and self-worth independently of external validation healthy relationships are built on mutual support and encouragement rather than seeking constant validation from one another <laughs> don't seek for validation don't beg for validation don't do in a way that you you have to get uh, go ahead order from your from your partner before something can be done it's good when you have issues when you have something you want to do or wherever you want to go whatever you want to do it's good to discuss it with your partner but never seek for validation from that woman before that thing is going to be done in a way that that woman will detect if it is going to be done or not you as a man have your right to to a certain level to do things the way you want to do it you are inviting the woman into that thing you want to do because of the union you have together or the relationship you have with that person that woman but begging for validation it is not right for a man to do that so don't beg for validation before something can be done even in your own personal life even if something that concerns you personally you always beg for validation okay can i do this can i do that can you allow me to do this can you that sometimes if i see so many you know do having that kind of character begging for validation from their partners i see that that man to be incomplete i will put it to the man he is not man enough so don't always beg for validation be the man and do some things inform your wife inform your woman that something like that you want to do and you can discuss it together but it's not that she will be the one that has the final say in whatever that is going to be happening in the house or in your own life never do that and number seven change begging a woman to change her behavior beliefs and values is disrespectful and counterproductive each person brings their own unique qualities and perspective to a relationship instead of trying to change your partner focus on accepting and appreciating them for who they are addressing concerns or issues through open and respectful communication rather than resorting to begging for change resorting to begging a woman for change ah uh, why would you beg a woman for change or why would you say i want you to change be this kind of person be, be this kind of person what do you also have to know here is that everybody is created in a different way we are unique in our different ways the way this person behaves is not actually the way that that woman behaves so why are you begging for her to change what you have to do is to be able to understand her and encourage her to be what you want her to be not actually to beg her to change don't beg somebody to change you always discuss with the person what you like the person to be doing the person on her own we know if it is right or not or that can that this life she's living is not right she has to like amend and do some things right 
for the fact that this relationship is concerned so that this relationship will move it to the next level and it's gonna last for us so don't always ask a woman to change some women even see it as you're disrespecting them you don't like who they are that is who they are some even go to the extent of asking you you saw all this i was like this before you married me i was like this before we entered into, into this relationship why do you want me to change now so don't beg for it encourage the person speak to the person in a way that the person will understand and things will fall into places and number eight personal space respecting each other's personal space and boundaries is essential for maintaining individuality within a relationship begging for constant togetherness or inviting her personal space can lead to feelings of suffocation or resentment it's important to strike a balance between spending quality time together and allowing each other to freedom to pursue personal interests and activities don't choke the woman with your begging in a relationship there should be personal time personal space personal boundaries there should be time that the person wants to be alone you have to understand that you don't have to beg for constant togetherness or invading somebody's personal space that's why you see sometimes in a relationship or in a, in a marriage they will say they will just take a vacation and just leave the house for a few days for a few for a week seven days why why do they do that because they want some like some sort of freedom to experience different things without your presence you don't have to always invade woman's privacy you also need it you don't always want a woman to be around you. I know some men, they want to be somewhere else. Not actually with a woman all the time. Because every time you are with the same person, you are going to be tired. And there is something they call C-finish syndrome. That will enter your relationship. Let there not be a C-finish syndrome. If that enters your relationship, that relationship is gone. So create time that the person will, will be hunger to see you. The person we want to see you create space. I will give example of people that work. I'm not that kind of person that I will work in the same office or in the same company or in the same place with my husband. We see, but I stay with my husband in the house all through the night. The next in the morning, I have to go to the work with my husband in the same place, and we are coming back. We are coming back in the same car, or we are doing that everything together together. No, no, no. I don't want that in my life give me that space i want a time for myself that i should should be with another kind of people another people you'll be with your own people then when we come back to the house then we can also come together as a family as people that are in a relationship sometimes all these things choke it's, it will be like the person is suffocating and i won't do that i don't like it so you have to always have your personal space personal time personal sort of freedom even if it's just four or five hours of being alone yourself in a different place in a different environment that is right but never begging a woman to always be together with you the person the woman will see you finish and by so doing you will never end those respect and the kind of qualities that the woman should see in you will not will never be there so don't do that and number nine apologies <laughs> apologies should be sincere and voluntary not begged for begging for an apology can invalidate the sincerity of the gesture and create further tension in the relationship if an apology is warranted it should be offered willingly as a sign of remorse and a commitment to resolving conflicts constructively don't beg for apology don't beg don't beg for somebody to apologize to you because if you're begging you have to apologize to me that means it's no more voluntarily giving the person will never have remorse of what she has done if you're begging for a woman you have to apologize to me if the woman will, will apologize she will voluntarily do it and if she voluntarily do it then she will have the remorse of what she has done if you beg for an apology from a woman, <laughs> the woman will just say what you want her to say. She will not have any kind of remorse. 
in what she has done. And if she will go back to doing the same thing and you will continue to be begging, begging for her to apologize. If she offends you today, you will beg for ap uh, apology. Then she will beg and come back to the same issue and did it again. You will ask her to ask her to also beg again. It doesn't it doesn't mean anything. And by so doing, <laughs> those apologies are not real. They are fake. It's something you forced her to do because she has never repented of the sins of the things she she committed willingly. She did not stop apologize naturally. You forced her to do it. So please don't beg for a woman to apologize to you. Let her apologize if if she wants to apologize. That is when you get, that's when you will get the real apology. Never beg a woman to apologize. Please don't do it. And number 10, material gifts or favors. <laughs> Gift giving an act of kindness should come from a place of genuine generosity and thoughtfulness, not from a sense of obligation or begging. Expecting or begging for material things or favors can create feelings of resentment or manipulation. It's important to appreciate gestures of kindness without placing expectations and demands on your partner. Why will you even ask or beg somebody for gift? <laughs> it is not proper. It's not right. Especially when you're begging a woman, you don't give me gift on this, you on my this, you don't buy gifts. On my this, you never give. You never gifted me anything. I believe gift is something that comes naturally. It depends on how you see it. Me begging for a woman to give you gift. I don't see it as being a gift that comes from the heart. It's a gift that you forced me to give. And if you're that kind of person that always appreciates gift or appreciate your woman because of the gift should always get you. Definitely, she is going to be holding you on those gifts. I you know in some situations, in marriages, in relationships these days, you hear a woman saying, after what I did for you, after all the things I bought for you, after this, after that, you're still treating me this way. Because those things are the things you begged her to do. Because if she did those things willingly without you forcing them, she won't even have the mouth to say, after what, after all that I did for you. And if you're somebody that, if they give you gift and you dance over it, show that you cannot even live without that gift, a woman will always hold it on you. And we always talk about your the way you feel or the way you dance or the way you celebrate whenever she gifted you something. Please don't ask for gift or favors such kind of things from women let it come naturally from their heart and whenever they come naturally from their heart don't make it as you cannot live without them the woman will use it against you and number 11 emotional support emotional support should be given freely and willingly in a healthy relationship begging for emotional support can create feelings of guilt or pressure for your partner it's important to communicate your emotional needs openly and respectfully allowing your partner the opportunity to offer support willingly and empathetically you don't have to you know beg a woman for emotional support because she herself also need that emotional support it's not only you that need those emotional support I know your own might be that men always crave for it on daily basis or on regular basis but women also do the same they crave for it and when you always beg for that emotional support. What do you leave her to do? Don't beg for it because she also will need your own emotional support. There's something you have that she doesn't have. And there's something she has you don't have. So whenever you need emotional support from each other, you have to willing, you have to say it in, a, in an open way. Discuss about it and don't make it in a way of begging. She will also need you. And when she needs you, she knows how to get it from you. Just doing one or two kinds of uh, seduction and you are gone and you are, you are done. You are ready for it. I know for, for men, it, you might not put it in a way of seduction, but there are different ways you can ask for that emotional support and not always try to beg for it. You don't beg for it. And lastly, forgiveness. Forgiveness is a complex emotional process that cannot be forced or begged for. If you have made a mistake or hurt your partner, it's important to take responsibility for your actions and express 
genuine remorse. Express genuine remorse, not begging. Begging for forgiveness can undermine the healing process and create further emotional distance. It's important to give your partner the time and space they need to process their feelings and decide on their own terms, showing, you know, that genuine remorse is something that you have to do and not to always beg for forgiveness. If you have asked you for forgiveness, you show remorse and your action speaks that you are remorseful of what you have done. That is what matters. And another thing you have to also do here is to give the person some space to process what actually happened. After some days or after some weeks of processing it, things will try to be falling into places by the way you asked for forgiveness and your character is showing that you're remorseful of what you have done. Then it is much better to settle that issue than always begging for forgiveness. So in conclusion, healthy relationships are built on mutual respect, trust, and open communication. Begging for any of the above aspects can undermine the foundation of a relationship and create feelings of resentment or imbalance. Instead, focus on fostering open and honest communication, respecting each other's boundaries, and nurturing a relationship based on mutual understanding and support. That is all you need in your relationship. As a man, stop begging for a woman for all these things that I have just mentioned. And if there are other things that you are not supposed to beg for a woman as a man that I did not mention here, feel free to drop them on the comment section. That is why we are here. We learn from each other and we are going to let this conversation continue on the comment section. So our amazing friends, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe with your notification bell turned on because we have more of these videos coming your way. Something like this, they will always be pumping out on this channel. Thank you so much for watching and always, always remain blessed. Till I see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.